How's it going, everyone? I'm Aaron Nick, and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. We these things go to Chris and Jessica. Don't want to interrupt cutscenes. I hope but not. We just got started um, in the last part. No one's saying Chris is dead. Chris is dead. All right, then let's find him already. How do you know he's not dead? You just found a hand. So this game jumps back and forth um, in time. Was that the lock? Yes, that was the I'll lock. check it out. Okay, I'll see what I can find here. So I can Copy use that. this thing I'll now. I'll radio you if I pick up Chris's trail. Search for Chris. This thing has a lot of similarities to the corpses on the beach. Yeah. Okay, so I had to use this thing to find items now, and I find that kind of annoying. But at the same time, I mean, I guess it works. Item found. There we are. So, it's annoying that I have to do that in like every room to look for things. I thought I already scanned that. Oh, I scanned next to it. I hand get ammo. Yay! Maxed out. So, 40 is my max out point. So, yeah, I just got through the introduction in the last part. Um, and, woo! There we are. Yeah, and things are getting interesting. I mean, look through. Who that? Chris. Chris! Come on, say something! It does look like it could be Chris, for sure. I found Chris, but he's trapped in there. Can you get him out? No, it's a tough lock. I need the key. Okay, then let's find it. Alright. Next room. Start by going down, because they always want you to go up in games, but, yep. Looks like a dead end. Thank you. Hey. Instincts. So, I don't know where my health is, for one. Um, I think? Okay, so. Let me hit enter. Back. Okay, so that's that. Do I have an inventory? I don't know if I have an inventory. <laughs> Let's see. Creepy hallways. This game, I, I was saying in the last part, um, I'm pretty sure that this is a, like less scary than some of the other Resident Evil games, but uh, not as actiony, so that that is a huge plus in my opinion. Um, so okay, I think now is kind of the time that I'll talk about it. Um, so how I feel about Resident Evil. Um, ooh, scary. There we are. He's he seems fast. How many shots is it going to take, though? Come on. That was a whole clip. You took a whole clip of ammo. I mean, I guess it's not a big deal. Cause, but did I just scan that? Th I scanned that through the ground. That's in another room. Okay, grab the handgun ammo for now. That looks like the prime cabinet. Alright, so Resident Evil 6. Resident Evil, well, 5 and 6, actually, because they both were going in that direction. They were good games, in my opinion. They both were good games. I played through both of them all the way through. Um, 6, I played through everyone's storyline. In my honest opinion, I think they were good games. Now, what I always say to my friends and stuff about them they were not good Resident Evil games. And that will be my opinion on them because I believe that like Resident Evil 5 and 6 were good action games. But there was there was zero horror. There were no like zombies. I mean, I would cons I would still consider 4 
a Resident Evil game just because it still was on the path. And I remember huge, huge amounts of item management for. I remember like taking my time in for. Oh shit. My shadow scared me. Yeah, I'm talking, and then I just walk out and get scared by my shadow. Okay, anchor. So that's kind of like the original one. Like, there's uh, the doors with you need the specific keys in the original game. So that's good to know. So I gotta try and remember. It's locked. And I'm happy uh, you can't really see it, but my mini map marks where uh, I've been. So, yeah, so next video, I think I'm gonna move it over. Oh. Damn, dude. Be nice. Well, I'm, I think I'm full on ammo anyways. Can I scan them? Can I scan them in the meantime? Scan through walls? This is intense technology. That is cool, though. Uh, green herb. I have four green herbs. Am I in the room? Yep, I am. Now I can. They both their attention. So I'm planning on killing one of them and then. Oh, wow! He went straight back to eating. I'm happy I decided to fight from across the room. So what's that like? So they have this weird thing that like comes out of their mouth when they're eating. It's just like big and grotesque and it's just. Like, I just shot a million rounds. The VOW's got her though. Who was she? I'm still trying to piece that together. I don't know. I just fired in her general direction for a little bit, but I I don't know who she is. And I gotta reload. Ink and ammo. Crew quarter key. Parker. Oh. I couldn't find anything out on the woman, but I did find a key. Oh, so those are all my different menus. Okay, so I have four or five herbs. Nineteen of six. So item management really isn't a thing in this game. All right. Oh, a whole map. That's neat. That actually is kind of cool. I like that. All right. So then, exit. Let's try it out. I'll meet you in the crisis room. All right, so I'll pull out my handy dandy thing. Scan, scan. Ah. Anything else in there? Ooh, handprint. Handprint found. First victim. That's kind of cool. All right. No more ammo. Who are you? So, she was a BSA agent, I'm guessing, just from her outfit, though. See, I wasn't staring at her, her knockers, but... Alright, so... Hello. So, pay attention to vent placement, I guess, is the idea. Oh, how well does a knife serve me? Decently. I killed it. Alright, so what is that that I just got? Did they just give me a, um, they give me an herb for scanning? Alright, so I might be able to key, so I unlock this door. What's in here? Oh, washing machine! Washing sh machine monster! Oh, that's awesome! Just casually waiting in the washing machine. All right, I I enjoy that 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 someone just that was developing this game was like, let's have a wa like let's have a room with washing machines. All right. Well, I imagine that's a dryer actually, but you you get what I mean. Someone was developing this game, and they're like, let's have a room with washing machines and dryers. So people can do their clothes, cause you know it's a cruise ship. And then someone, at some point, they're like, "Yeah, let's have a monster climb out of it." Ooh, 
cold draft coming inside. Thank you. Locked anchor on the door. Okay, so I need to go back to the Chris room. I know they said that. Oh, hello. That's not close or anything. Oh, that, that's a little annoying. I literally just walked in the room. Right, so there's a lot of these monsters. I, I enjoy how goofy they are for one. It's a mess. Of course it's a mess. There's monsters. Like, like, did they decide that they were going to tidy this place up before you, you arrived, Jill? Is that what you wanted? Yep. All right, I remember that vent. I wonder. Oh, I missed. I'm a terrible shot. That does make it like th their way of walking is slightly annoying for aiming. Wow. I am using a lot of ammo because they're directly in my path. It's okay. So I know one thing is like conserve ammo and like that makes a lot of sense to me. But they're they're literally directly in my path. So the best course of action seems to just kill each of them. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just playing it wrong. Maybe they want me to like knife them and then just shank and then just run away. Alright, almost the Chris room. Almost the Chris. Dude. Come on. Hello. We gotta help Chris. Chris. Cutscene. That's probably about Chris? the end of the section too. Oh. It's a dummy. So is this a so this was a trap then? What is this? Oh, <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> Ooh, who is it? Is it Wesker? It probably is Wesker at the same time, because like he can be the villain of this game. Cause he's still alive at this point, because this is pre five. It's time you learned the truth. Or it's just hunk. It's Valentine. Honk is just a random secret agent in the Resident Evil universe if you don't know much about him. Episode 1 Into the Depths. Oh, so I did finish episode 1. SS. Nothing on time. Like, I feel like that was a decent time. I didn't waste a lot of time. Alright, SS. Took me 21 minutes to finish the whole episode. game. I'm proud of that one. I got an S. It won't last for long, but I got an S. I think I only missed like one shot, two out of like, oh, okay, I missed a couple at the beginning. I missed like one right there, but I'm doing good. No deaths. It's really not much to say. It's the beginning of the game. They're like, they just cater. Cater to me, but hopefully it does get tough. On Resident Evil Revelations. Oh, it's episodic. Contact with Chris and Jessica. The yes. Was lost over the ocean. So they expected to be several weeks before you played this. Right here on the <laughs> ship. I will for sure just talk over but this, just because it, it it's cool they do that, but I don't like the idea of episodic things. Like I see the benefit that companies think they have um because it's most it's mostly japanese companies at the this? moment i kind of i really hope western developers don't do it I, so it's time you learned the truth that, it's valentine i think they almost do it because they don't because they might do less dlc i don't know but they still do it dlc so like i don't get the point what what is the point to the episodic things? I mean, it's to break it up, release over several weeks, but like, if the game is done, why not just release it all? Mountains in Europe. I haven't been paying attention to the time, because I know that that probably is something I should pay attention to. This is 
slow down, Chris. Oh, well, okay, so Almost here's Chris. There, Chris and Jessica. I certainly hope so. My feet are killing me. Our source indicates the camp is on the far side of this peak. So am I going to play as Chris now? Because I know he's in the game. Because they're obviously so... Oh, I'm playing as Chris. Weather, but I still can't make contact with HQ. Oh, and I stuck out here for so long. And I have a shotgun. Do I have the scanner? Yeah, I do. Scanners at the same point. So am I just gonna jump back and forth between people? Hmm. Doesn't matter. I mean, it, it's all just a game. But oh, uh, I kind of would like it better. He's just got like, he's got straight crafting scissors on the back of his belt. I'm, I'm not gonna like. Unnoticed that he's just got scissors. Oh, the plane! All right. My God, it crashed. All right. Well. There shouldn't be any shipping routes in this area. And the intel we got on Veltro was on the money. Come on. It crashed. No, no, it's still flying. I can see it flying. Look at it. Look at it through this. Look at it through the snow. You can see it still flying. Like. The, why do they have to say the most obvious things? And why am I still scanning for stuff? Probably I can probably scan the plane, maybe get something out of the plane. Okay, that is something that's like less obvious. Investigate the site. Let me know if you find anything. Whatever it was. What the hell were they carrying? Oh, so they were carrying POWs then. Found some faint traces of a virus here. Chris, do you really think we're dealing with Delta again? Yeah, Hard probably. I find it difficult to believe they survived Terra Grigia, though. Alright. Note on handling a new prototype. New prototype introduced on the mission. All missions participate are urged extreme caution. And a special prototype. Emergency. This is literally just generic stuff. Like, I, I was hoping for it to say, like, please beware of claws and, or something. And then just be like, ooh, it has claws. But no, it's just like, this is how you handle the subject. And this is just some bland rules of how to survive. And complete. Hello. See the pilot? He looks like a terrorist, but Ian. Because I can't search his body, I have to pick the flight plan. The manifest should give us a lead to work with. Let's see. Airport. If that's where they are, this mine should take us there. Ooh, a mine. How many games have mines been in? Ooh, he he nice like he does in uh, the other game. Like in he does in five. That's kinda cool. But you can actually move in this one. Alright, and I'm gonna end this video right here. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please go down below and let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.